works, how faint works. 36 punch control and the ring crap. I mean, they, they took a total deep dive. You guys want the gameplay. We finally have gameplay. Let's get right into it, to the presentation that they uh, show here. Want to get this out to, to you guys quickly and I'll catch you at the end of the video. So one of the standout features within ESBC is the movement system that we've developed. Uh, here you can see David Adelaide getting himself out of danger by throwing a nicely timed check hook. That in itself is a, is a new feature with regards to the punch control. That means you have complete freedom in terms of your fighting strategy, fighting off the front foot, back foot, and also pivoting yourself out of danger with check hooks using the pressure of your opponent uh, to your advantage. So within these clips you can see the physics system in action. Not every punch will be 100% accurate. Some punches will glance off arms, gloves, chest, and you can kind of see that with the jabs that have been thrown. Here you can see David fighting off his back foot, throwing a, a back foot jab and a back foot straight. Activated by using the same button as block, but instead of holding it down, you just tap it. So you can do a feint while you're throwing a punch, while you're throwing a light lunging punch. Uh, you can use it to interrupt your punch altogether and just throw a different punch completely. So you can see here in this clip that I'm throwing a, a leaping left hook to the body. Uh, I cancel the punch after I've done part of the animation and I transfer into doing a left uppercut to the head. So this is useful for mixing it up with your opponent so they can expect one attack from you but you actually do a different attack instead. Hi, I'm Andy Turner, I'm the art director at SCI. I uh, thought I'd just give you a quick overview of our animation systems. So our, our movement system was really fast and fluid. Uh, we wanted to get away from the sort of standard sort of clip based animation. Uh, where you kind of like loop clips to, to to put movement together. It just looks a bit robotic to me. So we've got a new system where it, it isn't done like that. It's much more performance based. So that's really good because when the professional boxers come in, they can just they can just do what they do best. They know how to move. We're not we're not telling them how to move. They do the movement based on what they would really do uh, in a fight. Um, we have our own motion capture studio so that they can come in and we can just let them do their thing within within certain constraints that we give them um, so that we can capture the, the best parts of their movements, uh, their traits and all their, their punches and um, blocks and, and movesets. They're all captured here. There's no traditional animation as such, it's all motion captured. So the adrenaline system was introduced because we wanted something more than just a stamina bar depleting. We wanted there to be the element of really going after a fight, 